Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to create button and image in Jetpack Compose. It's super duper easy to implement. Like in XML, how we used to have button and image view, same thing. But as you know, in Jetpack Compose, there is no drag and drop. So you have to write code for it, okay? Let's see how it goes. So first, create a Jetpack Compose project. And then, remove the default code. And done. So first, let's start with the button. Now see, I will create a composable function as learn button. Also, don't forget to call your function inside set content. Then inside it, we will create a button. Simple. But before that, we need to create a layout in which the button will reside. Otherwise, if we create button directly, then it will cover the entire screen. Got it? So I will create a column layout. I have covered types of layouts in previous video. You can go through it, okay? Then inside it, I will create a button. Till now, our button is created. But the important part is on click. Like what will happen when the button will be clicked? That we need to mention here in to do. For now, I'll keep it simple by throwing a toast. But before that, toast has three parameters in it. Context, text and duration. Correct? So in Jetpack Compose, there is a different way to give context. Like this way. Create a variable as context. And assign it local context dot current dot application context. This context variable now will come here as toast first parameter. Then text as maybe login successful. And duration as length short. Now we can customize the button. How? See, when you will click on it, you can see all the button parameters that you can use to customize your button. Like I'll use shape and color. So come back here. Give a comma outside the curly bracket. Listen to me. Be careful about the brackets. See, this is circular bracket contains parameters. And this row scope curly brackets will contain the text which we will see. So don't get confused with the brackets, okay? Now, on click was the first parameter which is mandatory. Then to customize the button more, I'll use shape. Here is the list of all types of shapes that a button can be. I'll go for rounded corner shape. Whose size means radius will be maybe 16 dp. Then to add a color to your button, use colors parameter, like this way. And give the color as anything you want, maybe red. And then, these are the three parameters I gave. You can customize your button according to your preferences. Then, as I previously said, for the text that will be on the button, here you will write text as login. Simple. Last thing in button that I need to do is I want my button to be in the center of the screen. So, to do that, I'll keep column arrangement as center. And alignment as center horizontally. And that's it. Now let's run the app. Look, we have a red color login button with rounded corner. And when you will click on it, it displays a toast as login successful. Great, right? 
try out with all the other parameters as well. Now let's go to our next function, learn image. I'll comment out all the previous code. See, I have created a composable function as learn image and called it here as well. Inside it, we will add an image. So to do that, I'll write image. Here we have not used any layout because it's not required currently. Also, if you will notice, some parameters automatically comes with the element. Like in the text, the text parameter, then in button, on click parameter, and here in image, painter and content description parameter. But why? Because these are mandatory parameters. So you can't skip them. Got it? Now what is painter? Remember in XML how we used to have SRC in image view? It's exactly the same. First, obviously we need the image. So I'll simply copy paste the image in the drawable. And done. Now here I'll write painter resource. Inside it, the ID as r.drawable.jc logo. Then content description is like describe what's in the image. Obviously, it won't be display on the screen, but it will be associated with it at the backend. Like if you want, you can keep it as null or maybe you can write jetpack compose logo. And our image is ready. Now let's run the app. Look, we have a Jetpack Compass logo. Great, right? Further, you can customize your image however you want using these parameters. Got it? So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video.